Hi, super freaky one are you here and if you just watched my last video, you know I'm going to talk about sea lions. Okay, so the first time we got to see them, uh, we took we took like a like a yacht um, kind of boat, you know, uh, and it and it takes you uh, it takes you past like the arch and like uh, and uh, I want to say the Temple Mount. It's so funny. That would be in Israel. Um, <laughs> it takes you out past a. Uh, Lover's Beach and Divorce Beach and to the arch there and that's where the all the sea lions hang out. And so we were on this big boat, we couldn't really get close, so we're like looking at it and they're like, oh, there's like six of them over there on that rock. But sea lions are, you know, rock colored and they're really hard to see. And they weren't moving at all. I mean, it was, ugh, I was like really disappointed, really sad. Um, but then, you know, the, the boat took us snorkeling. Um, my son got seasick on the way, and invariably what happens when he throws up, my husband and I start screaming at each other <laughs> because cause he was sitting next to him, and I, I just don't get it. I told you before, I, don't, I just don't get him. My son starts throwing up. He's right next to him, and what does he do? He calls me. I'm across the I'm across the boat, and what and, you know, put a towel under him, you know, catch some of the throw up in your hands. I don't care, do something. But no, he just screamed me, my name, and I had to go scurrying across, and then we had a fight. And then my cousin told everyone else in the whole family we were having a fight because it was like everybody except for the bride and groom. But it was like everybody else. It was like my aunt and my. Uh, Two cousins, well, three, cousin by marriage, and like their kids, and my mom, my sister, our husbands, our kids. It was everyone, and uh, and so uh, after that, we went snorkeling. <laughs> you need to jump in the water. My husband is passable snorkeler. I'm 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 good. I grew up around the water. I uh, I mean I had my like lifeguarding certificate by when I was like 15, WSI as soon as I turned 17. So I mean I've been struggling a lot, and it doesn't bug me at all. But my husband has been I think like three times with me. I, I don't know what it is. He like doesn't kick right, or he keeps his head too far forward, so he like sucks in the water. It ends up coughing. So he's like, you know, barely passable. And this is my son. He had practiced in the pool, like the whole way, but then we didn't let him bring his own snorkel and mask, which was probably a mistake, because he kept spitting that stupid snorkel out. But anyhow, so he jumps in the water, and he starts screaming, help, because he's freaked out, and he's never done this before. And he's eight, <laughs> you know? And he has Asperger's. It's a scary thing for him. So, uh, so, uh, my husband, like, sort of paddles over to him. And Alex just jumps on him. And, uh, then John starts screaming, help! So then I have to jump in and carry the both of them. So basically, like, snorkeling that trip was me, uh, pulling my son's hand who was holding my husband's hand and pulling my husband. So basically, I was just like, you know, the kicker. I really didn't get to see that much. Um, but, you know, I kept having to, like, put my son's snorkel back on, tighten his mask, tell him to actually put his head down and look at the fish. And then he finally got the hang of it near the end, and he loved it. I was so happy because he's so afraid of a lot of stuff. You know, he has, like, a natural fear of, like, almost everything. And and I know it's not his fault, but I'm not... I, I'm afraid of bees and heights. But it used to be that when I saw a bee, I'd, like, run screaming. But now I I don't. But anyhow, so they took us back by the, the sea lions, and then, like, a huge wave came on the way home. 
and they like lifted their heads and we're like, oh, look, there's not rocks. <laughs> so then, then they took us in, you know, and that was it. So a few days later, my son wanted to go snorkeling again. So we hired like a private boat just for the three of us, like a little boat. And uh, he took us out to the sea lions first. We told him we want to spend like a half hour out there and then like an hour snorkeling. And uh, he got us like 15 feet away from, it was like, not on the rock where all of them were, but like the very end of the rock where like the Sea of Cortez and the Pacific Ocean meet. And there's this one female sea lion just like sitting on like, it was like a teepee shaped rock and she was just sitting on the top, you know, just with her face up to the sun. Oh, she was just beautiful. And we were 15 feet away and my God, it, I, the words, just can't describe it until uh, we see this thing in the water and it's a male sea lion and he's big and and he's trying so hard to get up on this rock and this, this is like a rock for one it's not a big rock and so um and so uh he's like the wave would come in he'd get up on the rock and then he'd fall into the water mm, excuse me and then allergies and then another wave would come and he'd like get up on the rock and then he'd fall in the water and for 10 minutes for 10 minutes we watched this male sea lion try to get up on this tiny piece of real estate and like the you know in the middle of like a raging sea really and my my son I know is seasick because at this point I'm seasick and but we didn't care and so we're like we're cheering on the sea lion and we're like go 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 and then uh, after about 10 minutes he got up there and so uh he goes right up to her and she puts her head down and she's like arr, 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 you know like nipping at him like a dog and then he's like arr, 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 and he starts barking at her oh my god it was so amazing so he's barking and she's arr, 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 you know like nibbling at him and uh after about five minutes of her like snapping at him uh he put a flipper up on her back and he just started stroking her back with his flipper oh my god i got chills it was so amazing because sea lions they meet for life you know, and the boat driver, you know, he said that that was like, you know, her accepting him. And just to be there for that moment, it was, oh my God, it was incredible. I, it really was. It was unbelievable. We didn't even have a camera. I have like a mental m movie of it. No, no camera in sight. We forgot it which is really too bad because afterwards we went snorkeling again and actually the, the driver of the boat actually this time got in the water with us it was like totally private and so he pulled my son who pulled my husband and then i actually got to snorkel and and i had a lot of fun and uh but so like you go into the beach afterwards and i'm the only one besides like the snorkeler dude uh, to know is like you take off your fins and then you just like wait for a wave to come and then just put you on the beach and you walk out very gracefully oh gosh Alex he was like back and forth back and forth my husband just he hit the dirt his butt went in the air people were laughing oh my gosh and he could not his flippers were on so he couldn't get in that ground he just finally rolled he just he barrel rolled all the way up the beach. I never, I couldn't even believe it. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I so wanted a camera. It was so funny. I wish, I wish I could like draw a picture of it or a cartoon or something. It was really quite funny. So like right after like the most touching thing, we get like the funniest thing. So, you know. That was the good stuff on the trip. And now my 10 minutes are up again. And, uh, and so I will shut up. But, uh, but maybe I'll talk about it some more tomorrow. So, I don't know. It was a good time. So, um, I guess that's it. So, Super Freaky One Are You, signing off. So, um, bye.